All right, uh, everybody's ready? Yes, sir. Okay, good evening, folks. It's 7.02 p.m. and I hereby call to order the September 2024 meeting of the Village of Tivoli Board of Trustees. Would you please rise and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, we will begin with the village clerk's report. Clerk Bruno, please. Yes. Uh, the past month, there were 485 trash tags that were sold. Two payrolls were processed by Treasurer Day. Um, she also, in the roles of Deputy Clerk and uh, Planning and Zoning Secretary, has been working with the Planning Board and also a potential uh, upcoming project with the Zoning Board of Appeals. The clerk's office will be closed on Monday, October 14th to observe Eleanor Roosevelt Human Rights Day in Tivoli. Um, and then just a couple few little extras. Um, still been busy with uh, Tivoli Fire, with the uh, directors, and, uh, and looking forward to our barbecue this coming Sunday, September 22nd. Tickets were sold out, so uh, we thank everyone for their support. Um, it is really always a great day. Um, and all of our documents have been submitted and um, the fee has been declared. So once the fee is submitted, um, our permit will be issued for our solar project and the install will begin at Provost Park. Uh, coming up on Saturday, October 12th, I think probably many people have already uh, heard about this, but the Sons of the American Legion are hosting the fundraiser for Diego Carvajal, a young boy uh, fighting leukemia. Um, and um, with some due diligence so far, I've been able to secure about um, 30 items for the raffle and the silent auction, uh, along with uh, some very um, generous donations to the family. Um, I'm looking forward to gathering more items, more donations, and um, very much looking forward to the uh, event. And that's all I've done. Thank you. Um, we have a zoning report, uh, Trustee Schilling. Yeah. The monthly report, Code Enforcement Department, Building Permits Reviewed 13, Building Permits Issued 6, No Complaints, No Complaints Investigated, Zoning Property Maintenance Violation 0, Appearance Tickets 0, Municipal Searches 3, Inspections 9, and no, no fire inspections. Thank you. I know that they have been very, very busy until there's a lot, a lot going on. Um, okay. Uh, moving on to our minutes. I'm oh, sorry, I skipped around. Um, we have uh, one set of minutes in our binder for the August 21st regular meeting. Is there a motion to approve those minutes? So moved. And second? Second. Uh, Baldino got the second. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. And the treasurer's report. Uh, this month we spent out of the general fund $32,329.50, which is also our grand total, $32,329.50. Is there a motion to accept the treasurer's report? Mm -hmm. And a second? Okay, that was Baldino followed by Schilling. All in favor? Aye. 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 And is there a motion to pay the bills? So And a second? Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Now we're back on track. Did the zoning report. Um, public comment on agenda items only, and we are uh, without public this evening, so we'll just go right on into our resolutions. Uh, first, we have a resolution authorizing the sale of surplus items of the Village of Tivoli. These items are a Ford F-150 2013 regular cab, 85,000 uh, miles of change on it. Uh, which is old and in pretty rough shape and did a lot of, a lot of service. Uh, we no longer need it. Um, and we are going to put on the back of that Ford F-150 our old boss uh, VBX 8,000 eight-foot auger V-box spreader. That's a sander. Um, so that'll be a nice little uh, kit for someone who wants to try and uh, fix those items up and, and put them to good use and hopefully we'll get few bucks for the village uh, for those items. Is there a motion um, to sell these surplus items? Oh. And a second? Sure. Uh, that was a shilling on the second. Um, 
Uh, roll call, please. Uh, Trustee Baldino? Aye. Trustee Schilling? Aye. Trustee Mangieri? Aye. And I also vote aye. Get that listed with uh, Absolute Auctions, who's done our other auctions for us. Okay. Uh, and we do need a new sander, so our next resolution is to buy a belt driven sander. Uh, there were three proposals reviewed uh, that the mayor collected, and the uh, lowest responsible quote was from Hudson River Truck and Trailer. Uh, in the amount of $8,395 uh, to get our new spreader. Um, the guys would really think this is going to be a bad winter. I don't know why, but that's what they've been telling me. the same way. So we better have a good spreader. Uh, is there a motion to authorize the purchase of the new sander? So moved. And a second? Second. Uh, roll call, please. Uh, Baldino? Aye. Schilling? Aye. Uh, Mangieri? Aye. And I also vote aye. Okay, next we have um, a resolution approving an update to the procurement policy of the Village of Tibbet. And we have a new copy of our um, updated procurement policy. This was, uh, let's see, amended in 2014 and 2015. Um, and so many years have flown by. And basically the changes that we're making have to do with the uh, monetary thresholds and how many uh, bids and quotes and how sophisticated they need to be, we need at each threshold. So, as I think everyone understands, dollars doesn't go quite as far as it did uh, 10 years ago, so we're tweaking those thresholds, but we're still following all the uh, legal requirements of uh, procurement, and uh, the top numbers for public works contracts, which is 35,000 or more, and for purchases, which is 20,000 or more, those numbers are set by the state comptroller, and um, all municipalities have to do formal public bidding uh, for uh, works contracts and purchases above those amounts. Uh, trustees, we've reviewed this now for two weeks, so I will ask, is there a motion to amend the village procurement policy? So moved. And a second. Second. Uh, roll call, please. Baldino? Aye. Schilling? Aye. Mangieri? Aye. And I also vote aye. Next resolution is uh, authorizing a proposal from Trophy Point uh, LLC for value engineering review of the firehouse design. As everyone knows, Tivoli is well on our way to expanding our firehouse, a much needed project. Um, we're still looking for uh, final pieces of funding that we need, but we have a full project designed. And before we go out to bid, we want to have one good solid review uh, to see if there's any way to um, uh, continue to cut costs out of what is a big project for the village and to identify aspects of the scope or the materials where alternates could be um, employed to lower costs. So this would allow, say, okay, you want the really nice hardy board or do you want the slightly less, less nice hardy board? That would save you X dollars and then that can all be in the ultimate bid package. Um, so we have a, a proposal from Trophy Point uh, in the amount of $6,000 to do that review. Is there a motion authorizing this proposal from Trophy Point LLC? Move. And a second? Sure. Uh, roll call, please. Baldino? Aye. Schilling? Aye. Mangieri? Aye. And I also vote aye. So congratulations to them. We look forward to seeing what they can find. Um, and lastly, we have a resolution authorizing a micro-trenching agreement with Archtop Fiber LLC. So Archtop Fiber is a fiber optic company that has gotten permission from New York State to uh, run fiber all over the Hudson Valley. Um, they've worked in other states. Uh, they're coming to our area. Uh, folks may know that they've already been in Saugerties and Rhinebeck. They're currently in Red Hook and they're coming to Tivoli. Um, they've been uh, pretty good and, and uh, responsive to our requests. You know, they uh, do need our permission. Well, they don't need our permission, but they still need a permit because this technique is it, uh, the state already gave them permission. They take a machine and they trench down the road and they put the fiber optic cable down the road. And uh, this is going to allow uh, folks, another internet provider in our area, which I think most people will be very happy to have, see a little more competition among the companies. Um, and Archtop is going to um, make sure that the village has uh, connections to some of our facilities that we want. Uh, so down to the highway garage, they'll be able to get internet down there. Um, they're also going to allow the village to be a, have a 20% discount 
uh, as a customer, which will be nice for us and all the taxpayers. And they're also going to um, eventually uh, get us free Wi-Fi in the park, which will be a wonderful amenity. Um, and so this work's going to start very soon. Um, could, some of the marking could begin as early as next week. So there'll be more communications from me and Archtop about um, you know when they're coming down your street. Um, it's a pretty fast process, but there are going to be periods when there'll be like no parking on Montgomery or Broadway, etc. So we're going to do our very best, and I'm going to make them do their very best to get all the information out to residents so they know what's going on. So um, with that, and we had a nice long discussion of this agreement in our workshop in the previous hour. I'll ask: Is there a motion to authorize the micro trenching agreement with Archtop Fiber LLC? So. And a second. Second. Roll call, please. Baldino. Aye. Schilling. Aye. Mangieri. Aye. And I also vote aye. So once they uh, all sign it, they'll sign it, and then they can start working in the village. Um, our next board meeting will be held Wednesday, October 16th at 7 p.m. <coughs> with a workshop at 6 here at the historic Watts to Paster Hall. And we have our regular workshop on October 9th uh, at 6 p.m. Uh, it's amazing to be saying October already. Uh, Halloween. Okay, uh, trustee reports. Uh, trustee Schilling, anything else you want to uh, talk about? Just last week, the fire department had a groundbreaking ceremony for the uh, extension of the garage. And they started clearing last week uh, the property over there. So uh, things are going forward nicely with the fire department. Great. Yeah, it was a really nice little ceremony. They pulled together. My favorite much. moment was when the chief got in the excavator and took a nice scoop of dirt out. That was very. That was great for the cameras, and uh, nice, you know, snacks and a really sweet little event. And uh, I also want to say how wonderful it was that um, uh, Assembly Member Sarahana Trestra showed up and, and made some very nice remarks. And uh, it's good. good to have her support on this really critical project. So, uh, Trustee Baldino. Well, so this month, the village court report. We have total money collected and remitted to the state controller for $1,022 in fines, $429 in surcharge, and civil fees for a total of $1,451. Thank you. Um, Trustee Majiri? Um, <clears throat> for the month of August, uh, the police report is that there was 28 incidents and there were uh, 13 uniform traffic tickets issued, three parking tickets, and one arrest. Thank you. Um, Action. Yeah, busy. Busy yeah, month. Busy month, August. Um, the deputy mayor is away this evening, but if she were here, she would be reminding folks that there are so many wonderful things happening at the Tivoli Free Library, and that you should get out and enjoy the Tivoli Bays, despite the poison ivy and ticks. And don't forget to go up to Claremont State Park and see all the beautiful stuff up there. Um, and uh, she would also be talking about a couple events coming up. Uh, first one is this, uh, no, excuse me, Saturday the 21st. That's this Saturday. This Saturday. Yeah, wow. Uh, <clears throat> there is an amazing uh, international circus from Canada who's going to come and perform uh, in Memorial Park. Uh, they are called Cirque Kirkas from Quebec. And they are going to be in the park. Uh, the event kind of starts at 1. And there's going to be food and music um, and other entertainments. And then at 3 o'clock, I think for about an hour, they perform uh, acrobatics and that kind of stuff. And it should be really cool. And it's free. Nice. So um, hopefully the weather will be it's looking good this weekend. So uh, that's our circus this weekend. And then the next weekend is, of course, Tivoli Street Painting Festival. Um, and it's going to be on Saturday the 28th. You can sign up on the Facebook page to get a square. They're also going to have some squares held in reserve for that day. So you can show up and probably just get a square. Um, we are aware that we have a mistake on our banner uh, in the middle of the village. And the, I want to, uh, until we can get back up there with the ladder and correct it, uh, the rain date is not October 29th. It is, in fact, the next day, September 29th. So uh, don't be alarmed. Um, Tivoli Street Painting, live music, family fun, creativity. It's always one of the best days in the village. Uh, we want to thank the town of Red Hook for helping us with the street sweeping and Dutchess County for letting us close the road every year for this. Um, I just have a few things I wanted to mention. Uh, the 
uh, Tiddly Tree Committee is doing some more work on Monument Hill, and we will be taking down two large uh, dying maple trees there uh, that are just to the east of the uh, Rockefeller Memorial Bench that's up there. Um, and then we're replacing them with uh, some new trees uh, later this fall. So don't worry, the old trees are coming down, the new trees will go in. And uh, it's really great to be working with our tree committee trying to make Monument Hill, uh, you know, it's, it's hallowed ground, basically, and keep it, uh, get some beautiful flowering trees up there, and get the dead ones out, and take care of that space. It's both, you know, the entrance to the village, and of course, um, you know, every time I read those names, uh, and look at some of those names that are on multiple monuments, it's, it's very moving. Um, and, uh, I want to remind folks that the village is served by the uh, Village of Red Hook Police Department, Red Hook PD, and if you need them for any reason, they can be reached at 845-758-0060. Um, this is a time of year when uh, we often have uh, noise disturbances in the village and nuisance gatherings, and uh, Red Hook PD uh, <clears throat> issued eight tickets last weekend uh, for a party, so uh, we remain committed to enforcing our quality of life laws and that that 10 o'clock noise ordinance is a real thing um, i know that some folks who want to have a gathering uh, like to go next door to the neighbors and say hey we're gonna have a party later call us don't call the cops um, you know that's not good enough that's like going next door in the afternoon and saying i'm gonna violate the noise ordinance later just want to give you a heads up it's just not right it's not right to put that on the neighbor, and then the neighbor has to say, hey, don't do that, you know? So we're serious about it, and Red MPD, uh, don't hesitate to call them if you need them. And yes, amazing groundbreaking at the firehouse uh, last week, that was wonderful. And there's gonna be another big groundbreaking in September. Uh, it's looking like it's probably gonna be on, excuse me, October. October 24th, the new sewer plant. We're organizing a groundbreaking, and everyone will know about it. Um, so we are very much looking forward to getting that project started. Mm -hmm. cool. And uh, with that, uh, unless the trustees have anything else, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Okay. <laughs> Second. 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 Uh, on the second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thanks, everyone.